A judge delayed the trial against a man who shot and killed five people at the Capitol Gazette. Jared Ramos already pleaded guilty, but now a jury needs to decide if he was insane at the time. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in Annapolis with why the defense team asked for the trial to be postponed. Mike? Denise, the defense said they have yet to get critical information from some of the state's mental health experts. That's information that's required uh, by law that they simply can't move ahead without it. And uh, so now we're in this situation where there is a postponement. They won their argument. Some lady came up and said that it was postponed. So. Potential jurors came to the circuit courthouse in Annapolis, ready to serve in one of the highest profile cases here in years, deciding whether Jared Ramos was sane at the time he opened fire in the Capitol Gazette newsroom last year, murdering five people. After sitting on our on that hard bench for four and a half hours, um, the judge came in and, and said there had been a development. You say about your motion. The Ramos defense team argued they had not received full reports from the state's mental health experts and it would be unfair to move forward. Judge Michael Wax agreed and postponed the trial. The more I thought about it, the more I thought it was a good opportunity and, and I wanted to serve, but it's over. The outcome of the case will determine whether Ramos goes to a secure psychiatric facility like Perkins Hospital in Jessup or stays in prison. It will be a battle of experts who disagree about Ramos' mental health and whether he should be held criminally responsible for the mass shooting. When you plan something like that, you know, you should be held criminally responsible for it. Earlier in the day, Judge Laura Ripkin, who will preside over the trial, ruled the state appropriately provided disclosure information about its experts and told an unhappy defense attorney, please don't roll your eyes at me. Prosecutors say Ramos' lawyers are trying to create a media circus in the case, which is one of the deadliest attacks on American journalists in history. And no new trial date has been set at this point. We hope to have one by the end of this week. Reporting live at the Circuit Courthouse in Annapolis, Mike Helgren, WJZ.